हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय वीडियो क्लास दिस इज अलमुद्दीन प्रामाणिक टॉकिंग विथ यू ए लेक्चर इन इंग्लिश आज इज लक मेमोरियल डिग्री कॉलेज काहलू बगुड़ा हाउ हैव यू बीन ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड डियर स्टूडेंट्स मे थिंक यू हैव बीन वेरी वेल ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ द अलमाइटी अल्लाह मे अल्लाह गिव अस द शेल्टर अंडर द शैडो ऑफ हिज ब्लेसिंग वेल टुडे इन माय क्लास i will show you some more examples about finite verb as i told you in my previous class and i will try my best to show you some examples about non finite verb okay we will start now uh here on the whiteboard you can see one kind of structures of sentence that is if we have the conjunction like this seems as if as though in the middle of any sentence then the sentence is of course a complex sentence and in a complex sentence we have two clauses we know and here in this structure uh, we can say if the first clause is in present tense any kind of present tense then the last clause will be past indefinite tense i am saying again if the first clause is in present tense then the last clause will be in the past indefinite tense this is the structure if the first clause is in past indefinite tense then the last clause will be in past perfect tense these are the structures of the sentences number 1 example number 1 many years have passed since here we have found since we met last we met last so we can see here the first clause is in the present tense that means it is present perfect tense i have told you any kind of present tense many years have passed it is in present perfect tense so the correct answer will be we met last met is the past form of meet why we have written this because we have already known if the first clause is in the present tense then the last clause will be in the past indefinite tense and we have met the clause past indefinite form so we have written met the past form of met this is the answer example number 2 she talked as if she know everything the first clause is in past indefinite tense past indefinite tense so the last clause will be past perfect tense past perfect tense so the correct answer will be she had known everything she had known everything this clause has become past perfect tense she had known everything and we know in past perfect tense we must write an auxiliary verb had and then we transform the main verb into past participle form so we have written had as an auxiliary verb and non non is the past participle form of the verb no so correct answer is had non why because the first clause is in the past indefinite tense okay clear number 3 example number 3 here we have as if sorry sorry as though as though the first clause is in present tense in present tense present indefinite tense then the last clause will be past indefinite tense like this past indefinite tense so here the correct answer is where to be verb the past form of 
to be verb is was and were but we always write were the sentence like this in the sentence like this we always write were it is a kind of unreal past it is a kind of unreal past the young man behaves as though he were a leader we always write were in reality after he we must write was but here sentences like this we must write were always okay now we we'll see some more examples of fire and fire 